I, I, I no longer invest into things I do not understand. I, I think it was Warren Buffett and he said, never invest in a business you cannot understand. But yet many people still fall prey to the allure, to, to, to the draw in of complex financial products and schemes promising quick returns. Listen, I'm not saying that you cannot build wealth overnight, but the majority of the individuals who have built wealth, who have built wealth, it was a long period of strategic and strategy plans. I think it's according to the uh, foundation to the F. F-I-N-R-A, Investor Education Foundation. Over 60% of Americans are unable to answer basic questions about financial literacy, but we're ready to invest into a overnight, get rich, quick scheme. You see, by focusing on investments, we understand, such as low cost index funds, mutual funds, 401ks, HSAs, your health savings account, we can mitigate the risk of losing money on these get rich, get quick in 30 days. I'm not saying all of them are schemes because if you have the capital, if you have the money, if you have the resources, yes, there are some things that you can put, you know, a half a million dollars, a million dollars into and get a quick $100,000, $200,000 return. But the majority of us watching this right now, we don't have that. And, 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 and that's what I tell everyone, do not rock with a financial investor who's not educating you on what you need to be doing. Do not invest into, you know, no, don't, don't have no financial advisor. Don't, don't invest into someone or allow someone to control your investments who's not willing to educate you on what you're investing in. And if you disagree with what that company is doing, do not invest into it. I don't, I, I don't invest into in, any company in the stock market that promotes smoking. I just don't. I, I don't. No. And, and, and once I do the research on the company, once I understand what they are, I'm actually more like invested into seeing the company succeed. Now I'm looking them up every morning. I'm like, hey, how's the company doing? I'm invested into you. Like, I love learning about the companies that I'm invested into. But we have to stop investing into things we do not understand. This whole term of just trust me? No, I can't trust you with my money because God gave me the money to steward. The only person I have to trust is God and myself. So don't tell me to trust you. Show me what you want me to invest into and tell me why I should be investing into it. And then I'm going to take that information back. I'm going to pray on it and I'm going to go study more. This is why you got to go over to my website, anthonyneal.com, go over to the articles, because I've written so many articles on what's the S&P 500, what's a good index fund, what's a good high yielded savings account to get into, you know, what, what, how do I start investing? I have so many articles over there. If you just go over to anthonyoneal.com and check that out, I promise you, you'll be blessed and you'll be happy. Now, this next one that, that, I'm, that I'm going to bring up is going to be a little rough, but I, I when I stopped doing this next one, it didn't just save me money, but it also saved relationships and it, and it gave me more peace. I stopped giving money to family and friends. Listen, we all want to support and love our family members, but it's essential to set boundaries to protect our financial well-being. I think it's according to um, bank rate, 60% of Americans have lent money to family or friends with over a third of them never getting their money back paid in full. And I've been there. I've loaned money to friends. Hey man, I'll pay you back in 30 days. And it's three years later and I haven't gotten a penny back. And, and, and for me, it's not about I don't have the money back. It's the fact that you lied to me. 
And I was upset with me more than I was upset with them because technically we all know, can we keep it a buck? How much more time I got? How, how much more time I got here? How much? Y'all say y'all want me to keep it 35 minutes. Good, 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 good. Can we keep it a buck? When we gave them the money, we knew that we were giving them the money. Meaning, we're not getting that money back. Meaning, they just said what they had to say to get the money, but if they're hurting today, what really makes us think they're gonna be in a better position within the next 30 days, by their next paycheck? They're gonna be in the same position. And I had to realize that because I love you so much, I can't give you money. Because I want our relationship to work, I can't give you money because you're not gonna pay me back. And money breaks up relationships. I had to forgive some of my family members and friends for not paying me back because money can ruin a great relationship. And if you tell that family member, no, I can't give you the money. If you tell that friend, no, I can't give you any money and they get an attitude and leave you alone because they say you got the money, that was never really someone who loved you in the first place. And this is what I had to do, is that I had to prioritize my own financial goals for myself and my future family and politely decline my family's request for financial assistance when it was necessary. Because I do not want to jeopardize, one, my financial security and jeopardize our relationship. And man, when I stopped giving family members money, I had so much peace. I can go around my family and I'm not looking at them saying, where my money at, man? You owe me, you owe me, you owe me $500. <laughs> you owe me $1,000. And here's the truth. Let me be real with you. My family members, sometimes when they come to me, they know I got the money for it. But I tell them I can't afford it. I can't afford to give you the money because I can't afford to not invest that. I can't afford for our relationship to fall because of, of this. Now watch this, here's what I'm not saying. I'm not saying your family member is out there living on the streets, living on the car, and you can't go put them in a hotel room. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying, you know, a family member came through a hard time and you know they came through a hard time and you, you know, you, you know you can help them. No, 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 in those instances, I don't loan money, I just give it to them. Hey, listen, don't tell me you're gonna pay it back, don't do nothing. I'm giving you this money. And if that person decides to give it back, that's fine. But I'm giving this to you with the expectation of nothing in return. So this way we are protected and we are good. But none of my family, mem family members are gonna go through a rough time that I know they had no control over. And if I can help them, I'm gonna help them. But if you come to me talking about, yo bro, let me borrow this money so I can put a down payment on the car, no. Yo, bro, let me borrow this money so I can go to Africa for two weeks? No. Yo, let me borrow this money? No. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. 